I'm going to talk to you about your new job. Reliability. Latency. Speed. You see the point? All these things you have to care about as software architects, okay? And guess what? There's a new one now. It's cost. Cost of running your apps. Something you really, really didn't care about up to now. But now that we're in the cloud, everything, every action you take has a direct impact on cost. Every server you start, every server you forget to start, every disk you allocate, every disk you forget to, to deallocate, and the more you use your cloud provider in a cloudy way, the more likely this is to happen. And also, every architectural decision you make now has a huge impact on cost. We all know that some architectures are uh, fast, or some architectures produce less la latency, but now we have to understand that some architecture costs more or less than others. And all this leads to something uh, pretty obvious, which is cost-driven design, okay? When you think about all these things like Amazon S3 or Google Cloud Storage, it produces huge opportunities for cost saving and improved reliability. Uh, for instance, when you need massive uh, uploads of data, uh, today, these systems can completely replace a huge set of servers. You don't need any server to support that today. So, uh, a few rules about uh, what you can do to be uh, as efficient as possible when uh, uh, cost-wise. The first one, and it's a very important one, is script it all. You shouldn't be doing anything manually when you work in the cloud. You know this uh, graphical uh, console you have uh, with your cloud providers? You think they are your friends, but they are not at all. Your friend is the API. You shouldn't be using these graphical consoles. Uh, scripting is the only way there is you can start and stop things when you need to without breaking anything. So script everything. The second one is uh, measure everything, monitor, monitor your cost. There's no way you're going to be able to improve something yet that you don't monitor. You want new relic for costs. Okay, you're already monitoring performances. It's pretty natural to do that, to improve your app. Uh, you need to do the same for uh, cost. You're already doing, cost you're already doing uh, functional uh, integration. You're already doing continuous building. You're already doing continuous many things. Uh, you don't want to cost optimize once. You want to do it continuous, continuously. So integrate your uh, cloud, uh, your platform, your build automation platform with cost monitoring, and you magically get continuous cost improvement. And if you want to get the full picture, you want to, uh, to go even a step further, you want to integrate all the actions you take on your platform with cost monitoring to get correlation between what's happening at the DevOps level and what's happening at the cost level, to get a real a uh, large picture of everything happening and, and to get a full understanding of uh, the impact of your action on, the on your costs. Welcome to your new job. <laughs>